Today on E-Central, I'm joined by a creative who's gone from being a voice on radio, I mean that golden voice, to being the lady behind fantastic eye-catchy TV shows. I'm talking about the one and only Temi B. So good to have you right here on the show. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so Looking excited. gorgeous as always. Stop it. It took a lot to get this. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, sometimes I simply wonder, how did you get on radio? I mean, let's talk about that first because I knew you mm -hmm. as that radio, that golden voice. I've always wanted to be on radio since I was like maybe 12. It was, I knew from early on I wanted to do this and I just went ahead and did it. Mm -hmm. And um, I first worked in marketing for like a few months and then I segued into working on talk radio actually. Yeah. And then, uh, then I started working at Cool FM. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. And that's been about 20 years now? Up to um, that? <laughs> that will make me 100 years old. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's kidding, been 11 it? years. It's been 11 years. Wow. Yeah, I know. I know. Quite impressive. I know. And all of a sudden, Temi B right now is a creative. I mean, mm -hmm. you've produced um, Skinny Girl in Transit. You've done First Time Moms. You've done all kinds of amazing, fascinating shows. What exactly led you to it? Well, um, I've always been an all-around creative. Like when I was younger, I used to force my siblings to do like plays for our parents that they watched even though they didn't want to. And I've always known that I wanted to do film and then I started with creating Skinny Girl in Transit. Mm -hmm. Then I did First Time Mom and yeah. now I have Clinically Speaking and a few other shows and it's been really fun. Mm. It's been fun. Quite challenging, I guess. Very. Filmmaking mm. is no fun. So stop dissing us. We're trying. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying. And uh, whenever you watch your productions, how do you feel? I feel do you like... you it yourself? Um, yes, I do. I don't read comments because I don't want to die young. There's a lot of high blood pressure. You guys are wicked. But um, it's mostly good. Um, I feel like I can't believe it. I created a world. This world existed in my head and now it's on screen and it's such a fantastic thing. Mm. Now, let's talk about clinically speaking. Tell me about that. What's the creative process? How did it all come about and where is it so far? Um, it was inspired by my sister, Oyinka Balagun. She's a doctor. Uh, she just moved back to Nigeria and started doing her house job mm -hmm. and she would tell me all these stories about how they're barely surviving as doctors in Nigeria and I just thought this should be on TV and that's literally what it's about. It's about um, a fantastic young doctor, Kweju Koka, who comes into this general hospital to do her one year house job and all the madness that happens within the Nigerian medical system. And if you watch it, you probably understand why some of the doctors are leaving mm. because tough out here yeah jackpot <laughs> jackpot hashtag <laughs> so yeah. is there a particular message to those doctors or to let's say the government generally um i'll say to the doctors we see you we appreciate you nigerian doctors are one of the most talented across the world mm -hmm. most hardworking. i mean you hear stories of doctors having babies when there's no light imagine that happening um so we love you and this show is really to celebrate the fantastic nigerian doctors and nigerian healthcare professionals and to tell the government Maybe look at what these people are going through. Maybe we need to really pay them more and pay more attention and give them more because if they have more, they'll be able to do amazing things. So, yes. You know, I like the fact that you're a media person and yes, you're quite versatile, but then you've um, treated this subject right now. Is there any other genre you're looking forward to talking about in your, in your films? Um, well, yes. I sort of basically talk about mostly uh, female stories through a comedic lens. So most of my um, lead characters are women. I do have a new show coming out that has a main character that's a man. Okay. Which is great. But I think that what I, what I try to do is tell the untold stories that are very obvious. Um, with Skin Girl in Transit, it was my story of a plus-size girl finding love in Lagos because for some reason people just thought it wasn't possible. But I get a lot of guys, you know? Yeah. So <laughs> that was just that. And for this is the medical... Uh, for First Time Mom, it was really telling a story about a young mom a lot of people out there are like struggling with parenting, especially as women, trying to be career women and moms. So that, that's that. So I will always tell the Nigerian female story and the Nigerian story. And that's, that's it. So watch out. Okay. Be so fun. we're going to watch out for that one too. I know one thing about you. Something tells me that next time you talk about Temi B, Temi B would just suddenly become something else. What exactly is the future for you besides radio, mm. besides being creative in terms of the movies? Um, music, maybe? I've done that. Funny thing. Yeah, I'm on Apple Music. 
<laughs> I've done singing. Uh, I've made games. Like, I, I studied creative industry, so I am literally the all-round creative. But I would like to win an Emmy. I will win an Emmy. You see me on the stage. I already have my speech prepared. I did it with kids. Okay. Ah, my nice. job. Um, <laughs> please, before we go, let's get 30 seconds of that speech, please. <sighs> the Emmy speech. <laughs> oh, my God. I haven't practiced it. Okay. But I will imagine this was the Emmys. I'll be like, hi, Issa. I love you. Wow. Mwah, Quinta Bronson. You're my fave. I'm African. Woo. There's no light in my country. <laughs> but I made it. Mommy. To all the people who said I couldn't do it, I'm here. Um, but thank you. Thank you to my fantastic cast and crew, my okay. writers. <laughs> to HBO, mwah, mwah, <laughs> my children. I love you. Sorry. Africa! That's yeah. my speech. You, you didn't Sorry. mention me. I don't know you. God, yay. Hi. Who's the president at this time? Um, well, hi, no, I've already done gone. Um, whatever. <laughs> That's my speech. <laughs> All right, man. That was such a very great time with you. Thank, thank you so you. much for fun. gracing the show. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Hope to see more of you. Yes. Thank you.